got landscapers, nurseries, craft business operators with ornaments for garden spaces, and then we also have a lot of nonprofit organizations who are here. This is a place to come, learn what other people are doing, talk to some experts, take some workshops, learn about what's, what's new, what the best practices are. So this is an early way to convene anyone who's interested in gardening. our new community garden at JCC. People can rent a bed for the summer for $10 and they can grow whatever fruits and vegetables they want in there for the bed. We provide the soil. Um, we do all the raking and mowing and things like that. We have a Master Gardeners program where you go through um, about 50 hours of training and then you become certified as a Master Gardener and we promote community education and awareness and volunteer opportunities around gardening. And today we're promoting um, native shrubs and perennials, working with local nurseries on identifying the native plants for the area to help sustain natural habitat. It's just a perfect opportunity to talk about the fact that water, when it runs off two different kinds of properties, we know that it can run faster, or in a case where there's more vegetation, it runs slower. And if it soaks into the ground, the water's cleaner because it can be filtered through the ground, and it also keeps dirty water out of our creeks and lakes. Well, basically our display showcases the landscaping as well as hardscaping work we do. Patios, walkways, walls, columns, and of course we like to get into water features that add a lot of interest to the landscape around your house. We are talking mostly about starting vegetables, starting perennials, starting annuals, and starting it from seed because that's what most people are doing right now. They're starting their plants inside. This is an indoor growing tent. Uh, it's used for growing anything indoors. It's got the lighting. You can grow vegetables from start to finish in this. Uh, we really specialize in hard to find garden products. If you've gone everywhere else, the last stop is Mike's Nursery. And then we can usually find it. We can usually get it. Landscaping and gardening overall is a great quality of life contributing factor. It just gives the people a, a better feeling about being outside. Uh, a lot of times it can make the adjoining properties feel nicer and improve their value as well. So it, it's just a win-win situation. It's an easy way to beautify your neighborhood, your yard, it brings people together. It's important for public health. It's a way of getting people to be more active, live active lifestyles, and also live healthier lifestyles if you're growing your own food. And it's also a really important and fairly simple element of neighborhood revitalization. If people put a little more care into what their, what their front yard landscape looks like, what their gardens look like, it can really help to transform the look of a neighborhood and build confidence and help to encourage greater maintenance and beautification efforts in a neighborhood. So it's a way of making people healthy and making neighborhoods healthy.